what is up everyone today we are just gonna be styling my messy ass hair um it's just really dry it's not really that that messy but it's just really dry really come together so i put on a towel and go straight in with a combination of conditioner and water and my detangling brush and i just continue spritzing and brushing it out um all on the sides all the way in the back and making sure that every single curl is detangled as you can see my hair is still very moisturized and very lush and bouncy which made the process pretty easy but yeah just making sure that everything is soft and bouncy and curly and my curls really do benefit from the combination of conditioner water and no conditioner and water there we go and i use um this coconut conditioner anything with shea butter and coconuts and argan oil anything of that sort is really really good for my hair Now see most people start from the ends upwards I sometimes I mix it if that makes sense I alternate between the two sometimes I start with depending on how tangled my hair is I start with the bottom half up or since it's not really that tangled and messy I just go straight in with the brush I just comb everything out it really doesn't have that much of an effect on my hair so Now I do have a fringe in the front, which makes everything fun. I don't know, it just makes everything look cute to me. So the little fringe, little bangs in the front, um, I'll fix in a second. I'm just still dealing with the rest of my hair. It's Haitian, the awesome G. After all of the brushing out is done, I go in with my Y2 comb and I then go back with my conditioner and just moisturize. Yeah, I'm struggling as you can see. <laughs> I just go in with my conditioner all over my hair to make sure that everything is soft and properly detangled. Some people use a curling activator. This conditioner also does activate curls, so it keeps the curls in check. It keeps everything looking really nice and bouncy and moisturized and healthy and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> Now when you put the conditioner in, make sure you really massage it in because you don't want white parts in your hair just shining through. I'm getting my bangs in, I'm getting everything moisturized and proper. I also went in with oil but I didn't show that part but yeah, that's really all it takes. Um, yeah, this is me just feeling myself and my hair, my curls, all of that nappy hair stuff. I also tend to style this afro hairstyle with a scarf i feel like it looks so so cute with or without the scarf but the scarf is easier in terms of maintaining and just making sure my hair doesn't get in the way or doesn't shrink even so the scarf is a really cute moment i'm here for it i will always throw on a scarf for that afro vibe always <laughs> And that's honestly it you guys this hair this wig yeah it's a wig I bet you didn't even notice and even if you did it doesn't even matter because this wig looks so natural okay it's so easy to handle so easy to work with I love it there's no lace involved you just pop it on you style it you do whatever to it and I love it it's a 3c slash 4a 
type curly kinky hair okay um thank you once again to curls curls for sending me this wig i love each and every one of you thanks for watching bye Don't play around with the truth All I wanted was me and you